Well, it's all about the ladies here at Scotiabank Girls Hockey Fest, a full day for young hockey players to learn tips and tricks from the pros right here on Air Canada Centre Ice. You guys follow me. Have you guys done anything off ice yet or is this your first thing? Are you guys excited? Yeah. Uh, we're here for Scotiabank Girls Hockey Fest, so a one day on ice, off ice, cross sport training opportunity for females at all levels of uh, the grassroots hockey. Um, they're going to be going through three stations, so we have them on ice again with the Furies and the Varsity Blues. Uh, we have them off ice in actually the Raptors practice court. They're doing some basketball training up there, they're doing some agility training up there, some plyometrics, just some different things using a whole bunch of different toys that they may not otherwise have been exposed to previously. Girls don't really get to play that big because like the NHL is only boys. And this is an opportunity for girls to like show their skills. Uh, well, I remember growing up that uh, you know there wasn't many opportunities to go to a hockey school and see the girls that we looked up to. Um, it was always the boys. You know, you're in the mix with the boys. And uh, my dad ran a hockey school one summer, and Geraldine Heaney, who was my idol growing up, came out, and I remember that stuck with me. I remember every moment of it. Um, I remember the way she tied her skates to the way she taped her stick, to the way she warmed up her edges before and um, you know I, I think it's great now that we have so many female role models that we can actually do this for these girls so um, waking up early on a Sunday morning is easy for us to come out and see all their smiling faces. Um, today's important for me because um, girls like us can't like um, play in the NHL because that's only for boys so this is like a big opportunity and everything. Because we get to um, meet all the famous hockey players so it's it's just a good experience. What does it mean for your daughters to take part in an event like this? It's a really excellent opportunity for them to see great role models, uh, other young women out there showing them how much fun hockey can be and how far they can go with it. I think it's great. I'm a big fan of uh, both Tessa and Sammy Jo. I'm very impressed by them as, as people come in here to devote their time to girls hockey. It's amazing. Um, for me, it means everything. She, it's an inspiration for her and it's just nice to see that the girls are actually being empowered to do what they want to do and are passionate about. She usually doesn't really wake up when it's practice time in the morning, but this morning when I told her it was a hockey fest, uh, she was up just like that. <laughs> so she was really excited. It's all about just providing um, the female youth hockey players with role models to look up to um, and for that unique experience to have within their sports with their teammates and friends. Corson, you're going to lead the way except you're going to do it backwards this time. Backwards is a little bit more difficult, right? Best piece of advice for a young girl in hockey? Uh, work hard and have fun. Have fun at it. I mean, um, you know, if you're working hard and it's becoming a, a job, maybe you should kind of rethink what you're doing. I think if you can go into the gym and or on the ice and you can push yourself hard and leave smiling at the end of the day, that's the, the most important part. Come on!